Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Going pro in Fortnite has been a dream of so many players, past, present, and future. But as nice as it would be just to go pro and we think it's easy, it's not. It takes a lot more work than you can think. You know, going pro has always been a less discussed topic and, you know, most of the time you're going to receive simple tips regarding it. And that's why in today's video, we're going to be going over what it really takes to go pro in Fortnite. And it's not an easy process, but if you follow everything that we talk about in today's video, you're going to be on the right track. Speaking of going pro, like if you're looking for some of the best tips, mentorship, and advice to go pro, then be sure to check out ProGuys.com. We are catered to help you save time and improve fast. So be sure to check out ProGuys.com down below. Bunch of Crunch Army, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. And let's get this going. So it's a given that becoming the best at anything in life requires a lot of time, right? As great as it would be, you know, if we could just play, you know, a few hours and become really good, unfortunately, that's difficult even if your practice is really efficient. Putting in the hours when you're trying to go pro is absolutely critical. And, you know, top pros tend to play for upwards six to eight hours per day to continue improving. Wow. Obviously, those are the guys who are like super committed. So we're not saying to go from two hours a day to eight hours a day. But I will tell you that if you plan on going pro on Fortnite, you need to be ready to make a massive time commitment and really put your all into it. For pros, this time consists of almost pure practice as well, like with very little time to mess around. Like we're talking about six to eight hours plus of mechanical practice, scrims, arena, aim training, and things like that. It's definitely not easy and it does take a lot of dedication to reach that level. But let me tell you this, man, if you're willing to put the time in, you're going to see so much faster and overall better results. Second up in this video is a very important aspect of going pro, and that is mechanical practice. Regardless, you know, of what people say about, you know, game sense being the most important thing, there's no doubting that mechanics are absolutely critical. And there's really no going pro unless you can outplay at least 99.9% .9 of players mechanically. Mechanical players for pros is usually done in creative. Then the skills they learn in creative is applied with hours and hours of in-game practice. There's no, you know, insane secret to mechanical practice apart from just doing it in efficient ways like free building, you know, aim training, drilling different techniques, you know, 1v1s with other high level players and other things of that same nature, right? Overall, like when it comes to mechanical practice, pros always do two things. First, they obviously do it a lot. And second, they have a good mix of four things, right? Building, practice, editing practice, aim practice, and fight practice, which is basically just 1v1s. Mechanical practice is absolutely critical, so using the best methods along with taking enough time is going to make a very big difference. So another overlooked aspect of reaching the highest level in Fortnite is your setup and gear. Unfortunately, playing a lower quality setup is really going to hinder your potential and there is a reason why almost every pro has top of the line stuff. Now, while having a great setup is, you know, very important for reaching the highest level, it's not required when it comes to simply reaching a high level. You get it? What we recommend doing is putting the time into the game itself and just using all the methods in this video and use a large portion of the money you make from the game from things like, you know, tournaments, events, or even wagers, if you're, you know, into that, into proving your setup, all right? This will allow you to get a good setup, but also ensure the money isn't going to waste. Obviously, you know, you wouldn't want to drop just like 3,000 on a top tier setup just to decide you don't want to pursue competitive. So using your actual earnings to make upgrades instead of just doing it all at once is a very good way to avoid any major losses. Now, you do have the option to do it all at once, but then if competitive, you know, ends up not being your thing, or maybe you get burned out, or simply just don't put in the work to reach the highest level, then it might end up not paying off, which is why we recommend the safer route. But either way, guys, look, having a solid setup is going to make a massive difference for you, all right? The fourth aspect of going pro in Fortnite is an absolutely huge one and easily one of the most important things that you can do. I say this all the time on my motivation show. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people and just getting that positive environment around you. It's the simple truth that your surroundings impact you tremendously, guys. So hanging around with the people who aren't motivated or don't want to improve, that's going to hold you back. Not only will you be able to improve alongside your friend group, but you'll be able to potentially exchange gameplay and help one another find ways to improve. You know, 1v1 for practice and to warm up and even play team modes in tournaments to potentially make it to competing together. 
All right, speaking of finding ways to improve, don't forget to head over to ProGuys.com where you can find a pro coach to review your gameplay and help you find the exact weak points you need to work on, saving yourself time and ensuring you that you can get the best advice. You can also book a session for a 1v1 live spectate or to simply just play with the pro as well. So be sure to check out ProGuys.com. Whatever you need to improve, we've got it over on our website. So in conclusion for this section, listen, guys, make sure that you're surrounding yourself with positive and like-minded players so you can just keep a good mentality, right? And possibly speed up your improvement as well. All right, fifth up, time management. Time management is another absolutely critical skill to have when you're trying to reach the top level in anything, anything in life. But we're talking about Fortnite. Time management in Fortnite basically means, okay, being efficient with your time and not just playing around, you know, during your practice, like a lot of us tend to do. To put it simply, eight hours of practice can easily turn into one or two hours of benefit if you're lazy about it and you really don't have good time management. All right, so a few tips that you can use to improve your time management include setting up a consistent daily schedule for your practice. This helps a lot, right? Like having other people to hold you accountable, setting some you know, form of reminder or simply calling yourself out when you're getting lazy. Let me just say this, like if you decide that you're gonna do it, have good time management is gonna be a really huge asset to you, okay? All right, so moving on to our second to last piece of advice, we've got learning from other pros and players. All right, here we go. VOD reviewing and taking tips from pros is one of the best ways to improve your own gameplay. So implementing this into your practice is gonna help you guys dramatically. So what we recommend doing is watching a pro gameplay and simply taking notes on what they do. And from here, and I mean like right here, you can figure out how you can implement their strategies into your gameplay and just really use them to just step up your own game. You can also check out Pro Guys YouTube channel, aka the one that you're watching right now, <laughs> and seeing some of our analysis videos where we go over some strategies straight from the pros. Okay guys, moving on to our final tip of this video. Going pro is gonna be extremely difficult unless you're gonna do this one properly. All right, listen to this one. This tip is self-evaluation. Being critical of yourself is a good and bad thing. Obviously, if you're too critical, where you know you just talk about yourself all the time, you're hard on yourself all the time, you could destroy your own confidence. But also, if you're too optimistic, then you're not gonna find any areas to improve. So it's a happy middle place. Evaluating your own gameplay and improvement is one of the best ways really to find spots to improve. Whether you wanna do it on your own or you know get a session with a pro over on proguys.com who can really help you guys out, and save time, whichever you prefer, like analyzing your gameplay and being honest with yourself Self will be one of the best ways to improve especially like long term right and the earlier that you can build these habits the more potential you'll have going forward so get your notepad out hop into your replay mode and start doing some vod reviews don't forget that you can always get a coach over at proguys.com to help you guys i'm telling you it's dope Overall, guys, that's going to be it for today's video on what it takes to go pro. All things considered, let me say this, going pro in anything, especially in Fortnite, requires a ton of discipline and dedication. Hopefully, the tips in this video help shine some light on that and really motivate you to continue grinding and putting in that work. If you put these tips into practice, including, you know, putting in the hours, you know, practicing your mechanics effectively, grinding to improve your setup, surrounding yourself with positivity and people who want to improve, managing your time effectively and analyzing yourself and pro players to improve, then you're gonna be on track to reaching the highest level possible. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to leave a like on it and, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. You know, we wanna see, you know, you guys get involved because we got so much amazing stuff coming out in the future. Hop into some games, use these tips, and just see how much you can improve. I'm telling you, you're gonna see a difference. And once again, please check out proguys.com where you can find a pro coach and comment down below what you guys like to see next on this channel. Bunch of Crunch Army. Keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.